Let's see what's new this week. Added Empire. Devil's Bane. Wait, are those new weapons? Oh. My. God. New weapons. What is going on guys and welcome to this week's update and as you can already see it is so awesome there are two new weapons and a lot of cool additions to the game so let's get right into it i'm really hyped for this one okay so let's start off with the two main additions which are the empire and the devil's bane so you can get the empire by typing slash give 1481 and you'll get the empire and it's kind of resembling a ump if you know that weapon and it's a fairly standard SMG, it does not do that much damage, but it's cool nonetheless. So let's try it out on some zombies. Oh, it's actually stronger than I expected. Dang. It's actually fairly decent. It's holding up pretty good against those zombies. Yeah, so that brings us to the second weapon which is the Devil's Bane, and you can get it by typing slash give 1484, and look at this shotgun. It has 21 rounds as a frigid shotgun, you know, that's nearly a military magazine. So let's try and find some zombies and kill them, because this is 21 rounds of pure demolition. Oh, oh my god. Okay guys, check this out. Oh my god. Oh. Now. Oh. Did you guys see that? That is so friggin awesome. And this thing is seriously strong. So another really cool addition is the new Landmarks quality graphics option. So if we get into our graphical settings here, you can see that there's now a new button for the landmarks. And this is really cool. You can set it to low, medium, high and ultra and you can still change the draw distance. So if you want your landmarks to be really far away, but you don't want them to be quite as detailed, you can set them to low, but you can still see them far away. Or if you want them to be at a high quality, for example ultra, but you want them to be quite near you, you can just set it kind of low and boom, you got it. So this allows for some really cool individual graphical settings for you guys, which is good. But don't turn it off now because there's still a little bit more. So Nelson has updated his map progress and you can see a flooded portion of town, which is incredibly awesome because that means we will get to explore a underwater city in the new upcoming map, which is so awesome, I'm really hyped for that. I mean, are you guys hyped for that? Because I definitely am. You know, a whole underwater section, that's going to be so cool and I can't wait to play that map. But yeah, that's it for this update. It is so cool, we got two new weapons, some cool graphical options and a new teaser for the upcoming map and I still can't wait to play it. I'm so hyped for it. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.